When I was in the Philippines, I was in a public transportation where I observed two gay men speaking and using sword speak. Um, I realized that there was something that they just share in their community so they could have secrecy and like exclusion from other groups of people wherein they can just talk about anything and then they could also register their belonging and within their community. My name is G. Deshardo and the title of my research is Sword Speak, the use of Filipino gay lexicon in and out of the LGBT community. My research topic is about the linguistic aspect of the gay community in the Philippines. And I went to uh, salons where I talked to people and then approached them and asked them if I could do an observation of them, record their interactions so I could look at linguistic variety in which the gay people of um, the Philippines use. I went into one salon and then I just observed there for five to six days a week and I recorded their interactions. Also talk about other things about um, and other places wherein they use sword speak aside from the salon setting. Memorable experience I think was when I was um, invited to become one of the judges in this transgender beauty competition. And I got to record their interactions and backstage as well. Even though I was in the judges table, I was able to talk to some of the transgender and the gay judges as well. I was able to have more knowledge about where and when they use word speak and why they do it. I think if you try to approach a group of people or a community that has been marginalized for a long time in a society, they have that negative internalization within themselves. Wherein where when I approached one group of gay men in the city, they told me that they didn't want to be studied because they felt like they were specimens. I think that was the biggest challenge because a lot of the gay groups that I approached didn't want to be studied. I wasn't used to having mentors that are so quick at helping you and so quick at replying to emails. I also went to the um, university in the Philippines and then we, don't, we didn't have that much help from other teachers and mentors and then you couldn't re really approach them outside of class and like here in UCLA and then this program where you get to have a lot of help.